So we are here at EOTO. Um, EOTO stands for Each One Teach One. And this is an association um, that was formed around um, what you could call a private black library. Uh, there was a, a black woman in Frankfurt uh, named Vera Haya who started collecting books about black people, about African and diasporan history. When she died in her will, she actually uh, expressed the wish that you know, uh, this library should be available, uh, should remain available for the community. And so this was the nucleus around which this organization formed. The reason why this place is called African Quarter is because since um, the late 19th century, uh, streets here have been named after places that have, were touched by German colonial aggression. We are here at the corner Afrikanische Straße, African Street, and Swakopmunder Straße, Swakopmund Street. And um, when Swakopmund Street was named, Swakopmund, a city in today's Namibia, was a city in what was then called German Southwest Africa. But the significance of that name uh, is connected to the first genocide of the 20th century committed by German colonial troops from 1904 to 1908. This is where the idea of the concentration camp was first you know, enacted uh, in German history. And that means the first you know, victims of German concentration camps, the first people to be interned there, were actually Africans, right? These uh, colonial camps were like laboratories of extermination uh, and that these exper this, the, the experiences that Germans made there fed into the later genocidal activities. To really understand, understand Auschwitz, we also need to look at the colonial antecedents, including Svakopmund. Some of the street names have also been given during National Socialism. The Nazis saw themselves as, you know, um, on a mission to restore the German colonial empire. The notion here is simply that, you know, dominant peoples uh, need to uh, acquire space to live and resources to maintain their lifestyle. Um, and so this is a very clear Nazi propaganda claim, which is also evidenced in some of the very street names in African Quarter.